When you are a diver, you are always curious to go to sea a little bit further. I think every single diver in the world, when uh, you are about to go up, you always have an eye to the depths, to the bottom. Little by little, you want to go deeper because you wonder what, what are you going to find. Guilain Bardot goes deep, much deeper than most. In fact, since setting up under the pole with his wife Emmanuelle in 2007, he has conducted thousands of dives, often to 150 or even 200 meters deep. His crew has explored everywhere from the Arctic to the Canary Islands, French Polynesia to the Caribbean. We are talking about huge ecosystem that covered the entire planet, all the shore, everywhere, it's just below 30 meters, 40 meters, and there are for sure many species, many uh, different ecosystems that all have a huge importance. So acquiring a better understanding of their ecology is essential for the conservation of uh, those depths. With scientists aboard their boat, Under the Pole aims to document these ecosystems for the first time and help preserve their future. The length of the missions are from months to years. It's very demanding, very tiring. It's a very big engagement, not only a human engagement, it's a huge logistical and organizational engagement. Guilan's team are preparing for a six month expedition in the Mediterranean next year that will take them from Greece to Italy to France. Today, they're going out to sea to conduct tactical training in a new underwater navigational system. You don't know in advance what you are going to find, not always. Sometimes you discover something you didn't expect, and then you need to know where, precisely uh, where it is to be able to come back. And this is exactly what our system enables, and uh, to use it with efficiency, uh, you need to train. If we spend 20 minutes at uh, 120 meters, we will, we will take three hours to come back to the surface. And uh, this is not negotiable. Uh, you have to take these three hours, whatever happens. You, you need to be technically ready and psychologically ready also uh, to make this type of dive. And uh, yeah, it takes years uh, to be ready for that. In 2022, Under the Pole helped gain protection for black coral forests in the Canary Islands. And they believe there is a similar ecosystem to be explored on their Mediterranean voyage next year. In Greece, they already explored the depths with uh, robots, ROVs. So they know some fields of black corals, but are not able to study it because of the depths, because they do not have the divers to do so. And I like uh, those missions where uh, there is huge collaborations, you know, with different people uh, that can do together something they cannot do alone or just with their own team. Our mission is really to make the invisible visible. Even if it's deep, even if it's very far away, like in the polar regions, we need this place and we need to protect it.